We continue learning the Achsik Musr Yoimi. Rabbi Yoyne is Pirish on Pirki Yava. It's Baruch Hashem, an exciting day as we conclude the second parak of Pirki Yava. And we begin with Mishnah Tes Zayin. Says the Mishnah, Hu Hayo Oimer, continuing the words of Rabbi Tarfin, Loyalecham Lach Ligmar, and really continuing the theme of the previous Mishnah about the incredible amount of work that is necessary for each and every year to do, and the difficulty of, of, of doing such, and the incredible necessity of never breaking, rather working, as the Balabais is, says, The work is not upon you to complete, but as well, you're not a free man to be free from the work. Says your inner, what does it mean? Lo So say la daitcha. Should not come in your mind. And in a rechavlev lo ucha I don't have the brains, and they don't have the time. I'm never going to finish it. And therefore, what is the obvious thing the Itahara tells a person? O ma yitrain ba maal o wakin is there my toil? O ma oyim oyil be gi asi. And what do I benefit from my hard work? So lech le gamra. Because it's not able to complete it. Our job is not to complete the Torah. Our job is to toil in the Torah. A very important line, as this is one of those terrible infections of the Yitzhahara. You're not going to finish the whole Torah. You're not going to know the whole Torah. What is the point? Says the Mishnah, explains Rabbi Yaina. Remember what your job is. Your job is not to finish your job is to try. But, continues the mission, you're not able to just give up. Shlo timer, you shouldn't say, oh, I'm not obligated to finish it. Why should I push myself? I'll learn a little bit. Says Rabbi Yoyna, that's not the way. Because you're bound to the terror like a slave. To toil in it, yoyman v'layla, day and night. Va'az, and then, tatzliach hester achacha, you will succeed in your ways. Va'az, tatzkil, and then you will become wise. Wise. Em l'mada tatayra, ayri nazo tzachar, bay continues the Mishnah. If you learn a lot of Torah, you're going to get a lot of tzachar. Loimar, this is to say, sheish yeso in the mar, bay midai toiv in achkam. One who chooses to learn more and grow wise, alamamit, excels over those who do less, even though none of them give up learning. And your employer, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, is trustworthy to pay that which you do. Do not be scared, like a worker who approaches the Balabayis with fear, that he thinks, Maybe the employer is going to say, go and come back. I'll shame my Yisbiyati. I can't pay you right now. Baruch Hashem, we're working for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the entity that will always pay in full and always pay trust, trustfully. And finally, concludes the Mishnah and concludes the Parak Veda, and you should know. What is the reward of the righteous? Is lost in love. Says If you think about this, it encourages yourself to reform the Torah, which is longer than the length of the land. And through this thought, you place in your heart. The incredible chesed of Hashem. And it gives you a tremendous love. Hashem in His mercy places in our heart. An incredible conclusion to the second parak. We'll continue with the third parak in the next year in Mirza Hashem.